Hi, I'm Terry from Lacrosse Technology, and this is the Model 308805 weather station. Uh, when you open the box, you'll actually find three pieces. We have the remote thermal sensor, also known as a remote outdoor sensor. And we have the display, and the third piece, which I already have plugged into the wall, is a standard wall transformer. What we're going to do when we set this up is we're going to start with the remote thermal sensor. And we simply unscrew the back. and lift it off and you'll find a couple of things in the back first of all the small black switch which is used to select the channel that the sensor is transmitting on it's set for channel one and in almost all cases you'll leave it there in the center you have a push button switch to choose whether you're transmitting in Fahrenheit or Celsius and next to that you have one other push button switch which the, allows you to automatically trigger the transmitter if you need to we're going to put a pair of fresh double A batteries in here. These are alkaline batteries which are recommended for the units and these are dated batteries. Typically with battery dating you want to look for a battery that is seven years out. Easiest way to do that, take your current year, add the number six and that should be the oldest battery. So if it's 2011 you add six, 2017 comes up and you should use batteries that are dated 2017 or later. Once we have this sensor powered, we want to put it about 8 to 10 feet away and turn our attention to the display unit. Okay, next we power up the display unit. In the back you have a battery door where we can put three AAA batteries. These are used as a backup supply. Uh, they won't light the unit, however if you press the button the unit will show data for a bit of time. Typically though we run the battery on the plug-in adapter. You'll notice that as soon as that's plugged in all of the segments light up and you get a beep and it's already in the setup mode flashing the eastern time zone which is default. I'm in the Midwest so I'm going to use the down button to set it to central time. I press the set button once again and it's uh, showing me weather forecast icons. I want to set whatever the current forecast is or whatever the current conditions are. Right now where I am it's cloudy so I'm going to push the down button once to get to cloudy. There are five different icons. There's cloudy, and then there's sunny, stormy, just raining, and back to cloudy. We press the set button one more time, and it will now start searching for its outdoor temperature. It may take up to three minutes to find that outdoor sensor. Okay, we can tell that the temperature is locked on because when we see the outdoor temperature, as shown by the in and the out arrows, it's not flashing anymore. We can go to our setup menu. We're going to press and hold set for a few seconds, let go of it, press it again, and we'll see the letters DST in the box and we'll not let the word on. That means daylight savings time is going to be registering when it picks up the atomic signal from Fort Collins. Pressing set once again gives us the option of 12 hour or 24 hour military style. We make the selection using the up and down buttons. We'll leave this in 12 hour. <clears throat> Pressing the set button once again flashes the hour. We can set this manually. Right now it's at 12.06 a.m. We're just going to move this a little bit and we press the up and the down buttons to move it and we'll make it 1 p.m. for the hour. Click the set button again the minutes flash and we will make it 103 using the down button to go backwards. Pressing and releasing the set button once again gives us the year. The default is 2010. We'll use the up button to get to 2011. Pressing and releasing set once again gives us the month. Default is 12. We're going to make it March. Press and release the set button once again. The date is flashing. The default is the 31st. And we'll just make it the 3rd. Pressing and releasing the set button once again it allows us to modify our weather forecast icon if we need to. We'll leave it in the cloudy conditions. And pressing and setting that button once again puts us in normal mode. Just a couple of notes about this unit. First of all, when setting your forecast icon, uh, if you can do it when there's a little bit of rain going on outside, that's going to be the best time. After the system has been running for 36 to 48 hours. 
Its forecast icon will start to reflect a relatively accurate forecast for 12 to 24 hours in the future. Uh, typically, after it's been running for uh, a week or so, you should have enough background data in the system that you'll be seeing ac forecasts that are accurate, accurate in the 50 to 75 percent and plus range. Uh, when you mount your temperature sensor, the best place to mount that will be outside, of course, to get the temperature outside on a uh, wall with the mounting bracket provided, preferably a north wall of the house where it will never be in direct sunlight, and 12 to 18 inches below the eaves if possible to keep it from getting uh, direct rain on it. The uh, light button, backlight button, up on the top is used to simply turn that backlight on or off uh, when you're on battery. When you're in plugged in the wall mode, it's always going to be on high.